Snapchat Productions, we show you how to do stuff. I said that I was going to uh, show you everything I was going to do to the Country Squire, the bandwagon. So here we are, 2021, and I've done a lot. Let me show you what I've done so far. Well, you already know about the seats. Did those. Another thing I did is replace the carpet. Um, so that's completely done. When I removed the carpet, I rust prevented and sound insulated the floor. The floor's in really good shape. I also ran speaker cables because I'm planning on replacing the AM radio. For the new stereo system, I built two boxes with uh, speakers loaded pointing back and the speakers point in the front as well. So two speakers pointing in the front at the feet of the, of the uh, driver and passenger and speakers pointing at the feet of the rear passengers. I also ran extra wire to put some speakers in these panels. I also rebuilt one of the door panels, just mocked it up to see how it might look with the color change. So this is a panel that's wrapped in a vinyl, 3M vinyl. This is marine grade um, vinyl for seats and stuff like that. I painted this to match um, and got new handles. Working on a little bit of rust. I'm rust converting this little patch right here, and then I'm gonna top coat that. Rust converted this wheel arch and uh, put a little patch of steel there, and then I'm putting a Bondo coat on there to smooth it out. Lastly, the motor, spark plug, spark plug wires, cap, rotor, uh, all that stuff. As you know, I did the heater core and all the rubber leading to it. I also replaced the antenna because it was broken off, fed it all the way through to the back of the stereo. I put an overflow bottle for um, radiator fluid. I also changed the radiator. This is an aluminum. Uh, it's a four core and it has a transmission cooler as well. When I replaced the C6 transmission, I also put a transmission cooler in that as well. So it's got a transmission cooling in the radiator itself and also a separate cooler that leads from the radiator or from the transmission into this, then it goes into the radiator. Last thing I did is replace these bumpers and line them up so the hood sits the way it's supposed to sit. Nice and even. And then of course I completely rebuilt this, the front suspension. So there you have it, that's everything I've done. Next year will be rear suspension and whatever else fails that needs to be replaced, like the radiator. Did not plan on doing the radiator, just kind of popped up with a leak. Bada boom, bada bing. Rat Trap Productions, we show you how to do stuff. This is what I've done so far on the 1971 Ford Country Squire, the bandwagon.